Good morning and welcome to Core Finance. My name is Bonnie Hughes. Our very interesting guest today is Colin Hutchinson. He is CEO of Ascent Resources. Ascent Resources has gas fields in Slovenia and is currently exporting uh, untreated gas to Croatia. They just completed phase one of their development. They are starting phase two and today they just announced that they are looking for some strategic alternatives to maximize shareholder value. So hello Colin, please tell us about this most recent announcement. Hi Bonnie, thanks for having me today. Uh, well, we had two announcements this morning. So the first one was our annual results where we set out what we'd achieved uh, last year. So 2017 was a, a big year for the company. We brought the field into production for the first time selling the untreated gas into Croatia. Um, so the, the results for 2017 show us with about a million euros of revenue, about a million pounds in the bank and virtually debt free. So it shows that we've come through the first phase of the project, got things up and running and we're in a fairly strong position. So the, the second announcement then today was that we've announced this strategic review. And the purpose of the review is really to assess the most appropriate way to take things forward for shareholders. We've obviously got a big project in Slovenia. There's a lot of room to grow within that project, to add more wells and generate more cash. Um, we then got other things we'd like to do within Slovenia and then other opportunities in the region. So the purpose of the strategic review is to assess the best way to, to go about exploiting some of those opportunities. Well, because I know that um, one of your um, objectives was to build your own plant in mm. order that you could treat the gas and sell it at a higher price. Yes. And now, is this still part of your plan or is this so that you can accelerate to that plan? Well, absolutely. That's still part of how we'd see the uh, Petasovci project developing. Uh, we have the permit, the IPPC permit, which would allow us to build that plant. Is we're just now waiting for the Environment Agency to come back and rubber stamp the uh, baseline report that we submitted at the beginning of April. Uh, that allows us to build that plant and that's sort of important for phase two of the project. Whenever you've got a number of wells up and running, it would be much get it better and much more profitable to put the gas into the uh, Slovenian grid system. So that's still part of the plan and the strategic review will allow us to assess what the best way to, to move forward with the plan is. I mean, I think, I think specifically with the processing plant, that's something that we'd expect to be financed from, from debt or from project finance, but it's all part of the, the process now. And what would be the capex for something like that? For, for that processing plant, it's going to cost you about 10 million euros for the plant and for the metering station to put the gas into the grid. And we've had bank debt approved for that in the past, sort of back in 2013. So that, that's something we'd expect to fund through project finance or debt. But uh, we're looking now, to, the purpose of the strategic review, obviously since we've started producing gas um, and also given the way the share price has performed since the, we made that announcement, we've received a number of uh, inquiries from various parties who are interested in the asset and interested in various sort of partnerships. So announcing the strategic review allows us to sort of open up the process to, to see what opportunities there are to maximise shareholder value and it, it sort of assess them all and to have those discussions in a fairly open uh, Way. It also seems like um, because you had some problems with um, PG11 well, um, getting that up and running, that um, it is giving an opportunity for people to take advantage of your undervalued share price. Yeah, I think the, the issues, the teething problems we've had with PG11A haven't helped the share price. Uh, we announced a couple of weeks ago that we'd gone back in and removed uh, some tooling which we thought might have been hampering well performance and the, the guys are still trying to get that well to lift the fluids and to flow properly uh, and that's certainly contributing to the undervalued nature of the company at the minute. I mean, if you look at the, the gas, the, the, the gas reserves we have and the resources um, are hugely significant and we're already producing and we have a route through to market so I think the company is undervalued at the moment. And so is PG11 um a maximizing capacity at the moment or? It, it's still not up to its full potential so we're still continuing to uh, implement various things that can help us lift the water and get that uh, well flowing properly. And have you, um, you're looking at drilling other wells as well, have you gone in and started doing that as, at this point in time? Uh, the process now is the, we've got the, the first two wells up and running, the development plan has us adding uh, another seven of the existing wells and then another six brand new wells on top of that. We've started the permitting process for the next four um, re-entries 
and there's also a number of wells where we'd like to carry out sort of pre-stimulation testing uh, on six and nine. Uh, and we're completing the, the work programs and the paperwork required for that. So we continue operationally to push these things forward to, to follow through in the development plan. Uh, and, and meanwhile, you're making revenue in, in the process in the meantime. In, in the meantime, we're generating revenue, generating profit, generating some cash. So it's all very good. It's a good place to be. Um, and, and yeah, after a long time in, in country, uh, it's nice to finally be up and running. And what are the options you're looking at for the strategic review, like an outs a, a rate outside sale, a farm out? Um, what is your sort of plan? Well, I, I think it, there are various options that can, uh, various outcomes that can uh, come out of the strategic review process. Uh, it could be a farm out, could be some sort of strategic partnership, and it, it could be an outright, it could be a sale of the company of some sort. Uh, so there's there's a lot of different outcomes, um, and the asset itself, given its location onshore, uh, Central Europe, uh, gas producer, uh, everything's tied up, everything's ready. Uh, you can see how it's attractive and how the share price at the minute I think undervalues that. And you obviously had to have a conversation with your current partner that is, uh, I believe they're 25% ownership? Yes. The, the other side of the uh, joint venture is owned by Geo Energo. Uh, it in turn is owned by two Slovenian companies, Patrol, who are a large corporate in Slovenia, and Nafta Lendeva, who are a, a state company. So they understand the reasons for us doing this, and they're very supportive. And um, considering the, I'm not sure how big the, they are, but uh, would they potentially provide capital or do more of a farming with you? Is that an option as well? I, I haven't discussed that with them. Um, uh, okay. But, yeah. Uh, so I'm just seeing in the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, okay, and so what's, um, what are you going to be doing in the short term right now with the gas field? So the, the main thing sort of operationally day to day is to get PG11A reaching its full potential and to progress the paperwork that allows us to go back into some of the other existing wells. So that's on the day-to-day -day side. And then we continue to look at other opportunities within Slovenia and the region um, and see how they can uh, be wrapped into this strategic process that we're in. And so um, your permitting process, which is um, always a, a bit of a slog, even <laughs> for any mining companies in lots of different countries, yeah. even in Canada, it can be even a Canada, hassle. Yeah. So um, do you think you're setting a precedent, though, for other foreign companies who may want to come in and work in Slovenia? Because there's not a lot of foreign companies working there that, that you're helping them with the process of permitting. I think, I, I think the permitting process in Slovenia, it's slow in a lot of countries, and it's definitely slow in Slovenia, regardless of who the company is. Um, we have managed to navigate the process almost to the end. Um, and I, that hopefully would, I would show other companies sort of that it is possible to get to the end of the process and maybe gives people hope. So do you have sort of a revenue projection that you could give us if everything works out well with the, with the wells that you're planning to put on stream this year? Yes, we, we, we put some numbers out in a, a management presentation uh, a few weeks ago and we're expecting sort of revenues of three million plus euros this year, and we'd look to double that almost every year for the next few years as we add more wells and add more um, processing capacity. Well, that's fantastic growth projections. Well, uh, I look. Thank you very much for joining us, and I look forward to hearing all about your future development of the gas field and your strategic review and how things go. Your share price seemed to be doing very well on mm. that news announcement today, and hopefully it will continue to improve as you keep developing the field and good news comes forward. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on Core Finance. Look forward to seeing you again.